We know lots and lots of people over the past few days, right at this moment and later on this morning, are going to be heading out here to the Space Coast. Many of them, most of them probably just to get a look at this rocket, but also people who live in this area trying to get their kids to school, trying to get to work. So News 6's Brian Didlake is looking at what you're in store for. Uh, people are already starting to lose time if they're still deciding on whether or not to come out here to view the historic launch of Artemis 1. People are already camping out and businesses near the Space View Park where I'm standing have already blocked off their parking lots as they wait those massive crowds. We spoke with one business owner who tells me he's ready. Hold it tight. Unraveling cords and setting up balloons. James Morrison runs Rocket City Entertainment in Titusville. He recently leased this building off of Main Street, cleared the parking lot, and blocked off parking as he expects large crowds for the Artemis 1 launch Monday morning. I'm, I'm expecting this whole entire area to be completely overran with people. We're going to have a parking lot party, so that's why I'm blocking my parking lot off. Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to watch the launch. Artemis 1 is set to be a test flight for future manned crews that will land on the moon and set up future travel to Mars. Traffic set to be the biggest problem for many coming to watch the Orion spacecraft lift off. A Titusville Police Department releasing these routes for drivers for people exiting the town after the launch. One map directing spectators on the Max Brewer Bridge to follow the route westbound along Garden Street to I-95. Some spectators we spoke to say they already have a plan to beat the crowds. I'll probably wait until an hour or two before I leave or so to let everybody just kind of get out of the way. You know? Besides this area near Space View Park, there are other locations people can go to view the launch. Jetty Park Beach and Pier near Port Canaveral, Playa Linda Beach, Allen Shepherd Park, Cocoa Beach Pier and Lori Wilson Park are all areas with great views in Brevard County. No matter where you watch the launch, spectators say that they're just excited to see a piece of history. Exciting to see uh, our technology today and um, uh, get back to the moon, see what's up there. 